Hey, up next from the Marmy Rock Show. I'm really excited to have uh, Chris from Death of the Dialogue back. Uh, we haven't heard from these guys in a while, but they have got an incredible new album out called Call of the Siren. So, uh, Chris, welcome back to the show, man. Thank you, man. It's good to be back. Thanks for having so, me. Yeah, man. So, uh, man, I've listened to your record. In fact, we've already uh, added one of your tunes to our Golden Dozen chart this week off of this record. So I'll tell folks which tune I picked in just a minute. But uh, tell folks a little more about it, man. This record's kind of been a long time coming, hasn't it? It has, yeah. We, we actually did all the recording ourselves. Um, our guitar player had a studio uh, basically in the basement, and we would just meet up once a week after work, and uh, we did that for about two and a half solid years, and we just wrote them as we went, and uh, I think Woke Up Drunk, the second one to the last, was the first one that kind of kicked off the new rock record, so uh, it's been a long time coming, but it feels really good to finally get it out there and just see what it does. Well, we really like what we've heard from the record so far now, and uh, to hear that you guys self produced it is even more amazing because the quality of that coming out, not, not that you're not some good producers, it's absolutely fantastic to hear that. So, um, hey, uh, you just recently had a big celebration to release this, so tell us, please, Shell. Yeah, we, we played in Atlanta at the vinyl, um, the complex center stage, and, and the lofts are in there as well. It's like midtown spot, it, and uh, it's kind of we've made it our hometown show where we do our releases, and uh, it was a really it was really good. It, you know, we we tried and tried to promote and, and get up get everybody out there, and uh, we had a good turnout, and it, it was cool to see people singing around, singing along in the crowd. It, it was great, great to be back. So, uh, my favorite team so far on the record I'm going to ask you about it is the one that's already made up to number eight in our cold dozen chart. That is the team Some Kind of Violence. So, uh, tell us a little bit about how that team came together and uh, the story behind that song. So, our guitar player, Alex, um, he actually wrote that song, and he had kind of written the backbone of it um, and had, had basically the, the riff and the rhythm down and... We came together, that that one came together in about two weeks, basically two times meeting up, we came up with lyrics, and uh, that one is really, it's really fun. There's a lot of harmonies on that one, and singing harmonies is new for me and, and Alex as well, and so that's a, that's definitely a, a hurdle that we've been tackling over months of rehearsal, and it was cool to, to finally get it out there outside the garage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great so, song. I'm, I'm glad you guys like that one. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite one of the record, although there's a lot of good ones to choose from. So, um, I, you know, I've, I've been a fan of you guys from the first time I saw you play in Baltimore. Now, would your own assessment be, has the, has the style of the band changed a little bit since the last release at all? I think so. It's it's more of a, a metal, more of a hard rock sound. Uh, the first EP was more punk based and it was actually a little bit uh easier to to concentrate and play during a show. Um these new ones are a little bit more crafted and intricate but uh you know we did a lot of a lot of collaborating with it. Um Jason wrote a lot of the choruses so I feel like some of those sing along chanty type choruses um have been intertwined into the new kind of writing from Alex and I. Uh, but it's it's cool. This was a lot more of a of a group effort on this record, so Yeah, I like the new style. I mean I, I always love the old stuff too, man. I mean that you got kind of punky style was way cool, but I, I definitely think you've uh you yeah, had a great description. The music is a lot more intricate now and uh hey one of the examples of that is uh the tune Old Traditions. Now tell me a little bit about that song. Yeah, that one, so we just heard from a guy at the end of our show uh, the other night. He was like, he was like, man, I really love that song. It's like a, you know, James Dio kind of, kind of vibe, like Misfits um, sound. And that's kind of, I would say that song kind of represents what we're going for as, as a sound. Uh, it's just got that, you know, it's real, 
real upbeat and just driving, uh, you know, drums. It's, it's, it's a, it's really fun to play too. So, uh, that one is, is our like punk rock roots kind of song. Now, you guys have always been sort of uh, very artistic fellows, man, going all the way back to the Lego heads and the last video and stuff like that. And I've noticed recently some rather interesting photographs. Two come to mind, one where you're underwater and another of an aerial okay. view. So uh, tell me the story of those two pictures. Uh, start with the underwater one. What, what was going on there? It's actually really cool. We, we have had the same photographer uh, for the whole time of the band. And so... When we did those Lego head shoots, um, we just wanted to use our friend basically to, to, to come up with some ideas for this next photo shoot. And, um, so we hit him up and we were like, Hey, we're ready. You know, we're ready to pay you what you want and let's get this new, this new thing kicking. And he was like, Oh, well, I have access to a drone. Would you guys be willing to do that? And we we're like, Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. And then he's like, oh, I also have access to a pool, and I've got a GoPro that goes underwater. We, you guys want to, like, try some underwater shots? <laughs> and we were, we were all kind of like, sure, you know, we, we like to give him full reign and, and just go along with it because he's just, he comes up with some really great stuff. And uh, so we all met together on a Sunday, and we did, we did like, four locations. And we finally got to the pool and we strapped like a 10 pound, uh, weight basically to our belts. And that helped us like stay underwater once we decided to sink and pose for the picture. But, uh, I would say the one that actually came out that we used, it was probably the, I don't know, 30th take. So we were <laughs> swimming up and down. Um, but it, but it actually surprisingly gets easier the more you do it. Because your your lungs get used to holding so much air, so but that was a fun day. It was exhausting, but it was it was good. So with the, the new CD release out, man, I know, I know how tough it is to uh, go out there and tour. But and uh, and you know we followed you around for a brief time there on some tours too. Is there is there any hope of a, a tour, even if it's an abbreviated one, in the near future? I think so. This. This show kind of uh, reeled us back in, as as they say. It's kind of a a taste of something new to come. Um, we love playing and touring. It's just one of those one of those things. Get the get the wheels turning, and then you know get more and more shows, and try to try to create a time where we can spend you know weeks, maybe a week or two, type thing like we did last time. Um, but we're really trying to, I don't know, get back into it and get it fired up and get everybody on board for, for doing another tour. But I would say we'd, we'd like to at least make it up halfway the East Coast. So it would be a, a shorter drive for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're right about that halfway point, man. So I'd love to see you hit a Baltimore or a Philly show again so we can catch you guys. So, um... Hey man, I gotta ask one more thing for you about uh, music videos here. You know, you got a kind of cool history of doing some big videos. Is there any uh, talk about a music video off of this record? Yes, we actually, um, we're talking about doing a music video for Pirate Bay. And there's, there's a lot of ideas going around and, and we're trying, we're actually talking to the same guy that did our first video, um, for Low Lies Lenore. So, we've got some, some ideas in the works. We're thinking about doing a little trip and maybe maybe doing one or two videos. So, uh, so yeah, definitely music video is our next big thing. You know, we've done our release show and we've got our website up and everything's working. The money's going through. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, music video for sure. Well, man, it's been great talking to you again. Now, uh, hey, where do you want to steer people to to find your music? Is it a website or a Facebook page? Where's the best place for people to go to check you guys out now? Yes, um, you can buy all the, the discs and our T-shirts on our website, Uh The new record is streaming on Spotify, and you can buy it on iTunes. 
So pretty much everywhere we try to we try to get it everywhere. So and of course you check us out on Facebook. Send us a message if you'd like to book us. So. Hey man, it's been great talking to you. And once again, the band is Death is a Dialogue, and uh, we've had Chris with us. And the new album is called The Siren. It's a great release from an incredible live band, man. If you get a chance and these guys get back out, go out and see them. We were drawing them from the first song we saw you guys play in Baltimore. We were instant fans and uh, remain fans today. So, uh, Chris, man, thanks so much for being on the show tonight. Awesome, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs>